people. We made a mistake. Ah, oh, no. It's pretty scary. Oh. It's terrifying. Now is the time where we have to measure everything out. And I actually don't know how to do this part. I can take things out and strip things down, take things apart, destroy things really. But building it back up is what I um, am quite intimidated by. Because this all has to be, ah, the, this all has to fit in like a glove. I'm just gonna plan out and then we're gonna go over to Home Depot, kind of look at wood and kind of get ideas of, of things that we might need I don't know. Like, what do you nail it into? The metal? I've ordered some, some uh, car wrap off of Amazon that hasn't come yet that I'm going to wrap the headliner with. The space we have in here is about 5'5". Before we get too much into this video, I want to talk about today's sponsor, Sika Design Watches. And if you guys know me on maybe my other social medias, I do a lot of cyberpunk. Super high quality, very, very cyberpunk. So I wanted to show you the Machina. It comes in this thing. And it's really cute how they present it. It's on a bunny. You can get a discount code below for this and also the link to the website. But it comes on this little cute bunny. One thing for my Jeep conversion is that I'm trying to build it out as a spaceship. This is the Machina design. It has both sides. It's made of synthetic sapphire crystal, which is second in hardness only to diamonds. <laughs> Very fancy. It has 17 different awards. It's water resistant. Along it comes the mechanical aspects of the skeleton. You can see the entire watch and it comes in different colors as well this is just one of them they have a bunch of different types of watches this one's like the cyberpunk one you can see the layers of this designer watch stylistically it's just it's really cool and i i don't have a lot of like cool fancy things like this so i'm really happy to be working with them anyways let's get more into this cyberpunk space fan life thing all right Now we're looking at lumber, and I want to get a very lightweight wood, and we don't want it to be too thick. Found the wood here for 1090 for one of these sheets. We're gonna see if we can fit it into my car. I also got a couple other things: some glue. I got this for the drawer. I'm gonna pull out for the stove. Fits perfectly. <laughs> Do you think that'll hold the whole time? It's not, it doesn't seem very strong. Oh, he's so strong. It's pretty scary. So we got the 4x8 plywood, 7 sixteenths, nice and thin. So I'm home now and I'm not going to do any building today, but I got my stove from Amazon. I haven't opened it yet. So we're gonna look at that because we, we had to make the measurements around how big the stove was. It's so little. So this is a little stove and the, the propane goes in there. So a nice little one burner stove, so cute. It's happening. <laughs> this is my little friend. He's gonna help me fix up the car. She's very vocal, but she's harmless. This is the headliner. I'm gonna take these brushes here, and scrape all of this stuff off. So if you want a tutorial on how to do this, you can learn through my trial and error. And then I got this in the mail from Amazon. This is just an experiment. I don't think anyone's ever done this, but it's car wrap and we're gonna try to wrap the headliner. I got two different colors, chrome and white. We're trying to wrap the headliner with this, see if it works. Hi there. Wow, wow. You wanna come in the garage? So, let's see if this, come on. That goose has separation anxiety. <laughs> Where's he going? What's going on? It's okay. All cleared off. Voila. 
Taking the headliner out, you need to um, unscrew everything on the top first, and then you pry it out, and then pull it out, and you scrape all, well, you take the fabric off, and then scrape all the old foam off. So now we're gonna take paint thinner, apparently, and finish cleaning off this. Okay. Oh, scheisse. Oops. This is like a little experiment. That's sunshine. Gloss. Goosey, you're quite loud. Pipe down. See, it's nice gloss, like a futuristic gloss. We also need like a, if you have one of those squeegee thingies that like go like this or like a credit card. Here. So how much of a layer do we put on? Oh, shice! Ah, no! Oh! I just laid this down. It's the most important. <sighs> I made a mistake. What'd you do? I laid this down on it oh. and it was hot. Right, well, we spent too long doing that and it didn't turn out good at all. But you're not going to be able to see the roof that much. This is DIY, so you never know what's going to happen. And now I know I will never wrap a car and I will never do this again. <laughs> but we're still gonna put it up. It's bubbling. It just didn't stick like we wanted to. We put down contact cement. So we're gonna move on. We're tired of this. It's terrifying. Just, uh, it's shaking my whole body. Hold down on it a little bit so it won't shake so much. Look at that. My own floor. Right under here, what your coffee space is. I don't want to break this in half, but I'm. Because we are going to cut this or whatever. And yeah, we got we to put two by stuff underneath. Yeah, it's a pretty good space. I mean, I can almost stretch out. <laughs> I'm going to the notary right now because I need to transfer this and make this a Pennsylvania car, and it's going to cost a lot more money I didn't really account for. Cause you, I have to get, cause it's from Ohio. So I need to get Pennsylvania plates and I can't do my, I can't get inspected until I get the plates. So after I went to the notary, I realized I can't get anything notarized or inspected with just a pink slip. I need my title in the mail. And that usually takes like a month to arrive, which is, this, there is so much paperwork. There's so many fees and things you need to just have a vehicle. Like, people are always like, how can she afford traveling and stuff? I'm like, how can you afford staying in one spot, getting a house, getting a vehicle, doing all... Like, it uses everything and just to live. I mean, I'm not trying to complain, but it's just, it's insane. You'd have to get insurance, you do pay the taxes, it's gonna be over $200, and then you have to get the plate, you have to get the inspection, you have to get the emissions, and vehicles in themselves are so expensive as well. So we're going to calm down and make some butter. My mom has some extra heavy whipping cream that needs used, so I'm going to make butter. In my head, I have this kind of like little space pod vision. So I, I don't know, I didn't really look at a recipe, but I think you just put the cream in and put in salt and then shake it for like 10 minutes or something. Can we just shake it, I think, is how it goes. <laughs> Mom, where'd that butter go? Uh -huh. Oh, never mind. So this is the end result of the butter. My mom said it was really good, so.
Give me. You should have said Corey. <gasps> what? You're gonna cut my arm off. You're gonna have to do it. I don't know, but. I only have like less than two weeks left to get this finished and it's been a very slow process so far because there's so many things whenever you're making a do-it-yourself uh, custom uh, camper in a car you have there's so many little things you have to work around and you have to make sure you're thinking of everything and like I said we've made mistakes but off my wish list I got a sleeping bag, which I'm so grateful for. And I also got this first aid kit, which I'll show you. This is really nice uh, and a very huge comfort to have. So we have all the medical stuff. We have survival stuff like scissors, um, fire starter, flashlights. And we have um, like a knife. This thing has everything in it. Right now what I'm doing is I'm doing a little decor. I got these for like five bucks off of Amazon. These are, they're holographic looking. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm putting them on the air vents. It gives it like this cool metallic type of thing. You know, I think I'm just trying to do as much as I can on a budget to make it look spacey because obviously my headliner failed. At least it's white now. <laughs> like I should have just painted it even though that would look really bad too. It didn't stick well. Some of us see like it just did not stick. Still kind of, I think it still kind of looks cool if you don't look at it for too long. Putting these on the vents just gives it that cool, spacey. Voila! Basically all my vents are kind of broken, so except for this one. It was kind of blocking this thing from sliding if I put one up here. This one's broken, so I could have. Along with the, the steering wheel, I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, so this is what we have so far, and maybe you can see the vision a little bit better. The bed is gonna be right here. And this is the kitchen, so the stove is gonna be on this. And you'll be able to open up from here as well. I could put a collapsible toilet there. I have it on my wish list. There's a lot of things that I need to get. I put them on my wish list if you guys wanna help, but I'm seeing, I'm trying to prioritize what exactly I need need. Right, hopefully you can see the vision coming together tomorrow. We're gonna to make a lot more progress. And I really like this because it's all my idea. Like I tell my dad what I want and we try to make it happen and just do all the calculations to where we can make it happen. We've drawn so many lines, taken so many measurements because of the small nature of the space. I'm, I'm really excited just seeing your vision come to life. We screwed the, um, the floor into the car. I've made mistakes so far or just haven't thought of certain things. Um, so we made a mistake here with the hinge, but we fixed it. It should have opened, we should have cut and it should have opened to here, but we didn't. And so underneath this just fell down because there's nothing supporting it. So what we did is put another two by four right here to give support to the hinge. So we fixed that. Can't really fix this too much. It's not like this Jeep is gonna last for a hundred years, so. The most exciting and biggest piece was the second drawer top. And we just happened to make the wrong measurements and it didn't fit quite right. So we had to make a new one. See the difference in the new measurements? Yeah. The one, the one and a half. So this is straight, but it's not supposed to be straight. Yeah. And that's where you got your gap. Remember? Yep. If we went straight. We try again? Yep. So we have enough for one more. <laughs> yeah, that's good right there. Perfecto. Custom. Alrighty. Okay, I'm going into Walmart right now. I need to get the sink, which is gonna be a bowl. There's a few other things that I wanna get. The bowl that I get has to be small enough, shallow enough, and have a lip on the end, which most of them all do. That way it can sit right in there. 
This one's a bit too deep. I wanted to buy it here so I could actually see it instead of Amazon. And if you wondered about contact paper, this is the selection that Walmart has. Should have got it from here. $44. Let me show you what I got from Walmart. So I ended up getting this bowl. I wanted to get a stainless steel one, but they didn't really have a lot of options and I needed a smaller one. It's going to fit in. We're going to cut a circle and the diameter is going to be just around there, which I think is a pretty perfect size. Also it's white. Should match the contact paper that I plan to put down. Uh, so I didn't really have luck with sticking that down, but hopefully this stuff will stick down. It's meant to go on wood. I also got some sticky Velcro. I'm gonna use this to put on the stove, these super sliders, because whenever this closes, it's quite loud. And putting these on will really help with that. Also got some more contact cement. This time I got Gorilla Glue. Hopefully this will work better than the last stuff that I tried to put on here. This tiny little pillow. Travel pillow. I mean, I could get a normal size pillow, but I just like little things. And it was cheaper as well. I also got some things from Amazon today, which I'm excited to show you. I need to keep things as small as possible, as you guys know. So I ordered this off of Amazon. Two bowl plates. Two expandable cups. Let me show you. And you have a cup. <laughs> Look at that. And then the main thing I wanted to get was a kettle because I've been on this tea drinking business lately and I drink like two or three cups of tea per day now. So I thought it would be essential to have a kettle. And this is a nice small one. It's a little tiny one. Whoops. Foldable cutlery. Two pans, one for soup, go like this and cook. And then another one for eggs in the morning. And then all of this folds right on up. I also got this blanket, which is so cozy. I also got a sleeping bag, which I'm gonna show you whenever I start putting it, when I put the bed in and everything. Let me clean all this up. We'll probably just throw it in here and show you the progress that we have made with this custom. And let me just stress, custom build. Like you can't get any more custom than the customization that we did here because this is such a small space, but it feels roomy right now. I took off the radio, whatever you call this thing. And I think I'm gonna put this on it to chromify it. Let's begin with this tour of everything we got done so far. It still needs swept out and everything, but I also left my little stove at my dad's so I can't show you what it looks like on here, but the stove is gonna be right on this slide out. I got this off my wish list. Now, I don't know what kind of battery I'm gonna get yet because I've been holding off on it because they're quite expensive, but I'm gonna get a solar powered battery and I don't know if I can run a space heater on it. I know it's gonna drain it really quickly, but if I need to run this, you know, like here and there, if I get a little cold, it's super cute and I wouldn't run it for very long if I did run it, but I feel like this would heat up pretty fast in here. We built a tiny little shelf right here where I can probably put my phone when I'm sleeping. We're also probably gonna build something right here so we can put things in. Like I said, you cannot waste any space. The flooring, I thought that this would be enough to cover the whole floor, but it's not. So I got some, some white tiles to fill in the other areas on the sides. And we'll just have this strip because I'm making this spaceship theme. The bed that I got is going to come 31 inches and there's 32 inches between this gap so I'm gonna have a little hallway but the bed's pretty much gonna come cover all of this but I bought a fold-up bed so it'll be able to be folded up into a couch and I can store it up there so I can have a couch whenever I'm not using it and have this floor space once I cover everything so like I said we're gonna cut out this bowl and we put hinges on here and we actually screwed into the actual car I'm gonna have to cover up the back right there I'm gonna put a covering over that because that's the ether. You don't want to drop anything into the ether. Also, I don't want to mess around with my um, tail lights or anything like that, because uh, I've experienced that already. It's uh, slanted to fit in the shape of the car. It's all nice storage in there. So, I'm going to custom cut out the flooring, so that won't be an issue. Hinges. 
So from here we decided to leave this open because this door is going to be closed most of the time unless I need to get anything from in here. So I leave this open so I can also access this from the back. Now we just need to decorate it and make it look all spaceshipy, which I have the materials to do so. I'm going to replace the stereo as well. And I just got the title today so I can go and get it inspected. This building stuff has been a lot of hard work. It's a lot of hard work, but I'm so happy with it so far. Let's put some of the stickies on here and see if my idea works. I also love the smell of like cut wood. It smells so good on here. Yeah, that's a bit better. And I think when I'm driving, it won't rattle as much with those on. All right, I love the creativity that you can just, you have to think of all your own ideas for these things. Thank you guys so much for supporting me in this. This is my own little thing and I'm, I'm just so uh, infatuated with it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is dangerous. I'll see you in the next video. Stick stress drill.